The military needs to be deployed to our southern border immediately to stop the caravan of thousands of illegals pouring into our nation. Right now is a very dangerous time for Americans. Border control is essential to your safety and the safety of your family. The military, the National Guard, ICE, Border Patrol, and DHS needs to block this caravan from entering our nation. Now, I'm not saying they're all criminals. What I am asking is, who are they? What I am saying is, I want to vet them, screen them. I want to find out who among them is a criminal, who among them is a gang member, like the notorious MS-13 gang members who arrogantly rode into our United States by invitation during the Obama years and are now in New York and elsewhere brutally and savagely murdering innocent American citizens. I want to know who is a pedophile, who is a sex offender, who thinks they're entitled to beat their wives. I want to know who has an alcohol problem, who has a drug problem, who likes to drive drunk, and who has no problem hauling drugs for the cartel. And if you can prove that you're not one of them or any other kind of criminal, I want to know what you have to offer us. What do you bring to this great nation? What are you going to contribute? Why should we be proud to count you as an American, other than adding to the Democrats' voting bloc and continuing the mob mentality that you have already exhibited your proficient at? Now, if you're not a criminal, I want you to get to the back of the line behind everyone else who waited for a visa, came here legally, hired a lawyer, learned American history, and swore allegiance to this great nation. And only then am I interested in even talking to you about entering. I, for one, am sick and tired of the sense of entitlement that illegals have to enter this country and then immediately claim their constitutional rights as they carry the flags, not of America, but the flags of their country. And God forbid we try to deport them to the country whose flag they so proudly wave. They have no claim on this country. They are not entitled to be here. They break our laws to come here. Now, this is not a left or right issue. This is a security issue, a safety issue. We simply cannot have people about whom we know nothing living next door to us, working next to us, or driving next to us. Crossers claim they're running from violence in their home countries. I spent my career fighting on behalf of innocent, helpless, silent victims of crime, victimized by violence, criminals who should have been stopped long before the crime. You're telling me, you're telling me because they're being victimized that every one of them is a victim and therefore entitled to come here as opposed to anywhere else on the planet? Go to the UN, stay in Mexico. Now they say their poverty is justification for illegal entry. I've got news for you. Millions are suffering from poverty all over the world. Haiti, Uganda, Zimbabwe, the Congo, third world countries. So why is it just Central Americans and Mexicans are the poverty stricken ones pouring into this country by the millions? Why? Why? Because they can. Because no one has told them they can't. Because no one has stopped them. They come because there's a big prize at the end. Education, medication, housing, food stamps, all the things that you pay for. So you want open borders. Look at what it's done to Europe. If the left, the mob, and the demon rats had their way, there'd be rogue cities and rogue zones all over the U.S., just like Europe, with crime-ridden zones where law-abiding citizens, even law enforcement, are afraid to enter, and for good reason.
The left, then, the Democrats in this country, add an additional layer of protection so illegal criminals cannot be arrested in sanctuary cities and states where American citizens are thus put at risk. These people don't want a border wall. Have you ever asked yourself why? Do you really think they have a philosophical or an ideological objection to the concept of a wall or protection? Of course not. All these bozos are protected by doors and fences and security, yet they want our borders open. They want illegals to cross as a mob and act as a mob and unite around a state they have no right to be in and register and vote Democrat. Many bring the poison, drugs that take the lives of hundreds of thousands of Americans, a primer. 90% of heroin used in this country comes through the southern border. And Mexico thumbs its nose at us and says, your people asked for it. I got an idea. It's time to play hardball. The foreign aid to those countries, Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador, some $464 million in foreign aid from us, end it. Congress needs to stop the flow of our money to them. And if they need it so badly, use it to take care of the poverty and the victimization in their country. And I am sick and tired of people telling us to have a heart. We have a heart. We are the most generous country in the world. In 1986, Ronald Reagan gave all illegals amnesty. But amnesty does nothing but create an incentive for additional crossings by illegals. And so, here we are again. And for all of you who want to trash President Trump, I've got even more news for you. Presidents Bush and Obama sent the military to the border to the tune of $1.3 billion. And it's time to do it again. So let me be clear. When you cross the border into these United States illegally, expect to be arrested. You do not have the right to come here. We did not invite you here. You cannot stay here. And on your way out, you can tell the Democrats, George Soros, and the angry mob that's coming here, you either come the right way like everyone else or be ready to face the military and a one-way ticket back to where you came from. And that's my open.